Welcome back to the channel, Beach Bums. And I have a lot to share. And for me, the way I look at life is that I've only got this one. Time is more valuable than money. I don't want to spend it looking back, worried about, oh, I should have done this, I should have done that. Generally, I think I regret the things that I don't do more than the things that I do do. Even when those things have gotten me in trouble, they have created invaluable life experiences. Because one of my hobbies over the last decade or more has been following global monetary policy, actions of central bank, uh, European central bank, Fed obviously, these zero interest rates, the constant printing of cash, the, you know, Fed go brrrr, you know, and of course the government deficits and the three and a half trillion dollar spending bill. I hear words like five trillion. God even knows what the number is these days. But for you, these things are important for you to know because they affect your quality of life and they should put you in a position, you know, to, to make better decisions about how to achieve a better quality of life. What am I working for? All this stuff. I've got cars and houses and Corvette and oil changes, registration, insurance, and it doesn't help me. Less is more. And it truly is. Since I left the ordinary prescription of life behind, I eat better food. I no longer pursue monetary gain. It's not the prime, well, it, I do and I need to obviously, but it's not the primary focus of my life. My number one priority is me and Marie and then, and my family. And I hope that you join the channel, subscribe. I wanna share with you everything that we do. Right now we're in Cabo Rojo and just now there's a hurricane just developed uh, to the east of us. So we're, we're gonna have an unbelievable downwind cell to share with you coming up here. And then I'm gonna continue to try and share news with you in a way that doesn't get me kicked off of YouTube. You know, I can't really do that uh, and get away with it. I hope to monetize this in the future. What I really want you to do is subscribe to the channel and become an honorary beach bum. You know, when you subscribe to uh, Jimmy Buffett, uh, we're all parrot heads out here, okay? But you can also be a beach bum parrot head. So subscribe to the channel, become an honorary beach bum with me. Come join me. It's time to beach bum, baby. I'm the Millionaire Beach Bum. Welcome to the channel. Do I have a million dollars? <laughs> Not anymore, but it's better that way. I don't own a TV or even a pair of shoes. This is our home, Marbury. This is my woman, and this is the view from our porch. I'm happier now than I've ever been. When I was about 45 years old, I had to stop and take an objective look at my life and ask myself, was I achieving the quality of life that I wanted to have? And at that time, the answer was no. I knew I had to make a radical change. Life is different now. It's a little bit slower. It's much more satisfying. Push the subscribe button and join us every week. Come aboard Marbury. In life, you wanna go where you're most welcome and Marbury is one of those places. We use a variety of tools to monitor the weather. One of them is a storm tracker here that tells us when hurricanes show up. And we got a notice today of new Hurricane Peter. You can see here it's taking formation out here in the Eastern Atlantic and the cone is predicted to go north of Puerto Rico. So we're waiting for this to pass before we can leave for the Bahamas. This conflicts and we, we use predict wind a lot. You can see here from predict wind, the storm is projected to pass just to the north of Puerto Rico, but perhaps a little closer than the NOAA model 
But the other thing that it does is you can see it moves right up through the Bahamas, which is our sailing trajectory. So we're gonna wait for that to pass. While we wait, we like to eat well. Throw a few steaks on the barbie. Salad, little good music, a few drinks. With time to pass, we do some good cooking. This is an octopus salad. Like to air fry plantain tostones. And then you take the octopus salad and put it inside of the plantain tostones. It is so good. You don't even need any sauce or anything because the octopus salad is so juicy with wonderful vegetables and everything in it. Okay, so what's happening right now is... We've been here for coming upwards of a week. And here's Customs and Border Protection coming in for refueling. So out here on the western side of Puerto Rico in the Cabo Rojo area, there is a tremendous amount of immigrants that arrive from the Dominican Republic and have made a crossing across the Mona Passage, which is unbelievable to me because you need a very capable sailing vessel to cross the Mona Passage, but these guys come across in little teeny boats. But anyway, there's also been an influx since an earthquake in Haiti. That little mysterious encampment we found obviously was a landing spot for crossers. We've been working on the boat all week. We've been doing different things to try and get ready to make open ocean passages again. It'll be about at least we'll be at sea for at least a couple days. And then one of the things we like to do is stock up on our refrigeration stuff. So you can see here we've got meats in the freezer here. And then we've got a large refrigerator. And between those two units, plus we've got our Coleman cooler here. We fill up with ice, keep some beer in there, whatever. We can actually stock this boat to be at sea for over a month. Aside from that, in the Bahamas, it's quite a bit different from a fishing perspective than it is here in Puerto Rico because at least if you're not in the Exumas. I, I tell you, I know Exumas is one of the most visited vacation areas for foreigners, but uh, the Exumas are completely fished out. I mean, and so you, really when you go to the out islands, that's where you get, I mean, the fishing's abundant. So you can just eat as much fish as you want. And you can even pick your you know, species if you want to. One of the cool things about the uh, Marina Pescaderia is that you can use this golf cart. They provide their guests at no charge. Use that to go to the grocery store. Okay. Woo. Super hot. Mucho caliente. Ah, oh, that feels better. There's always someone sitting out in front of that house drinking. Oh. Morning, Great parking spot. After you. Provisioning is an all day commitment. Pretty slim pickings, but why not? Um, they make it work. There's Lucky Charms cereal, Coca Cola, <laughs> and but most importantly, you got meat over here. Different kinds of meat, but it's not tons of it. So we're gonna load up on this. Haul it down to the boat. It's starting to rain on us here, but we're getting, we got it filled up pretty good. What are you gonna do right there, honey? My blower. Is that where you're gonna? I'm here. You're gonna ride there on the way back? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. 
Can't get your hair wet. Okay. Let's make a run for it. Woohoo! How are you, baby? Very good. We're doing good. We're doing about, what would you say here? About, oh, uh, I'd say about six knots, five knots. So we're doing about sailing speed. Well, we're going to make it back there. Do we need to go to the bakery? Not. Oh, we don't need to go to the bakery. Okay. One of the things I appreciate about Puerto Rico is the local bakeries, which when I was young, there used to be local bakeries, but nowadays they've all been replaced by the big chain stores. In Puerto Rico, they have local bakeries everywhere and they're awesome. Here's one right here. Oh yeah, pork ribs and rice and beans. It's a little bit drizzly right now, which means it's cooler outside, which means it's a good time to run my motors. One of the good things you should do if you're on a catamaran or any kind of cruising vessel, whatever, you should run your diesels you know, at least once a week. So what I like to do is just come out. Uh, it's pretty easy. All you gotta do is pull and check the oil. There's oil in there I know from um, you know, my maintenance log that I only got about a hundred hours on this oil change. Okay, and then you're going to remove this, which is check the oil on your sail drive. And that's looking good. These are 2007 model Volvo Pentas. They're really fuel efficient. Check the radiator fluid, that's good. Check the fuel water separator. That's bad, I need cleaning that. And there's your water strainer. Okay, so then you go over and do the same thing on the other side. I won't bore you with that again. Okay, once everything's checked out and good, then you can come and start the diesels. And here, I'd like to Run the glow plug for about 15 seconds. And then you can see your motors are running. That one's running about a thousand RPMs. And then about Then you just want to come back to the back after you get them started up. Check and make sure your water's flowing good. And you can see, see, in that strainer there, that's your cooling water, and then it's being distilled all over the side. Now you know you're running, your motors are running in good shape. Ready to let them circulate for a little bit and warm up. You don't want to let the ocean water or the seawater build up in there for much time because that's where you get the growth. In our next episode, we watch our neighbors install the mast on their trimaran, and with the storm passing by, we set sail for the Bahamas. It's going to be beautiful. Please subscribe to the channel and follow us. It really does make a big, big difference. Thank you. All those sharks in a frenzy down there. Yeah, that kid's brother just fell in the water. They're eating him. <laughs>